speaker is Rain Wang, and she has a brand new company that wants to make customized eyeglass frames. Is that right? Hi, Martha. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you, Moses, again for having me here. It's always a pleasure to be here at Idea City. So we heard a lot about space and Hyperloop. Now let's bring back to something that's closely related to our everyday life and can immediately be enjoyed, a technology that we've created in my company, Skelmit. So show of hands, um, who wears glasses or sunglasses? Okay, of course, everyone does. And who has problems finding the pair that fits really well? You know, they don't pinch, they don't... Yes, a lot of us have this problem. And if you want to get custom products today, custom made, custom fit, you have to be willing to pay the high premium. So if you want custom tailored suits, it generally costs three times more. Or if you want awesome custom uh, rims for your cars, they could cost you a kidney. <laughs> so what if everything you own was custom made just for you? And you never have to go out and try on products ever again. And what if none of this costs you any extra than off the shelf products? Wouldn't that be really nice? So there's a reason it hasn't been done before. Currently, if a manufacturer wants to produce a new size or shape, they would have to invest heavily in new equipment, molds, staff, uh, and sell tens of thousands of products to make it worthwhile. So to produce enough variations to fit every unique shape, it's just not realistic. So what do they do? They design and produce products for standard mannequins. This is a standard you can buy from Amazon, those um, uh, mannequins they use to design their products for. And now let's take a look at what my head looks like next to it. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. No wonder I can never find products that fit. They were all designed for this guy. <laughs> and you can have different colors of this guy, but it's still the same guy. And <laughs> the fact is that most of us don't look like this guy. So that creates a problem. And we're lucky that we live in a moment in history where a lot of the advanced technologies such as cloud computing, machine learning, digital fabrication, including 3D printing, have all come to the point of maturity, which allows us to witness a new industrial revolution of what we call internet-enabled manufacturing, where we can combine these amazing technologies and have a flexible, responsive, and self-controlled manufacturing system that allows us to create products on demand, eliminate waste, and eliminate the needs for large capital or heavy labor force. So today, we get to redefine the standard and manufacture at the scale of one. And based on this philosophy, we create our first product, Bespoke Sport Sunglasses. And the process to buy this product is very simple. Our customer downloads the app. Could you play the video, please? Um, or go to one of our stores, take a simple two-minute head scan, Select your personalization options, like color, style, then the work is done. Our system takes over, and the magic happens in the cloud, where our intelligent design system automatically extracts all the required information from the 3D head scan and generate the product shape automatically. Then the product model gets sent to a 3D printer for production. And let's take a moment to admire the beauty of this product. <laughs> 
And the system itself uses machine learning algorithms to improve autonomously based on the feedback from customers and from the manufacturing control system. So for us, sports sunglasses is just the beginning. This technology can, uh, can be applied to anything you can wear. Uh, goggles, helmets, uh, shoes, masks, even prosthet prosthetics. So to me, it's really up to the startups, the small uh, companies, the entrepreneurs, to really challenge, to change um, a centuries old status quo of what's deemed to be standard. Because we are more fearless to innovate. We have nothing to lose. We don't have thousands of employees to take care of. So we're able to change, we're able to adapt really quickly. For this product, thanks to the technology of fabric, digital fabrication, we're able to iterate immediately. As soon as we receive a feedback from customer, the next product is changed. So this iteration allows us to quickly perfect the product um, and make it better as we go. And the best moments for me are when I receive emails from my customers uh, telling me how easy we've made their life and how they've been waiting for this product for their entire life, essentially. And one customer drove for five hours to come visit our office because he couldn't believe that someone is finally addressing his Asian faith. <laughs> <laughs> and another customer wrote to me and thanking us for making her no longer feel abnormal. And I want to end the talk today um, on a note that changing someone's behavior is really, really hard. Changing the way you shop, changing the way you perceive things is really hard. And changing and disrupting an entire old monopoly industry is even harder. So it really is the moments when I hear from my customers or you know, talk to people at Idea City, we have a booth outside, people come here like, this is a problem. I've had this all my life. It's moments like, like this that motivates me um, and to go further, no matter how hard it seems. So I'm very happy that we get to make someone's life easier and one person at a time. Thank you very much.